years old. God sent Saul to anoint David. Samuel to anoint David. But David was curious. David was a man, a young man. But out there in the field, he had an eye on the sheep. And David was very protective of the sheep that was in his care. David had the sheep out there in the wild. And over there, while he's there, you have bears. You have lions that are not tame. When a bear sees food, he's going after food. And this bear saw David minding the sheep, but he did not care about the shepherd. All the bear wanted is food. So he go and touch the wrong man shepherd, the sheep. Though he was a little boy, he had the strength of God because he believed in the true and living God, the God of Israel. David went out and when he saw the beer with his sheep, his determination was to save that sheep. And he took the beer and burst him with his beer hand. Here come the king of the beast, the lion, one day. Strong man, strong beast. He want food also. But he came again to the wrong man herd. This lion came in and took the sheep. What David did with his beard head, he took him by the beard and he tore it in peace. Good God. That is a shepherd and not a hurley. If David was a hurley, he would run and leave the bear to eat the sheep. But because he was a shepherd, the sheep have to live. And therefore the bear must die. Because David was a shepherd, the lion must stay. And the sheep must live. Because God anointed him to be a shepherd, a leader. Why David wrote this song? When David killed the Philistine, Saul saw that this young man had the ability to capture an army. He had the strength because David did not come to Saul with his armor, to, to the Philistine with his armor, Goliath. When Goliath looked at him, the little boy, just a little dot in his eye. He said, you come to me with this. With that little snake, I shall give your flesh to the birds of the deep. That's a big man talking to a little boy. But in the little boy, there was a bigger God. Yes. Hallelujah. We are talking about a chosen young man. When God chose you, you are well chosen. When God blesses you, you are well blessed. David was blessed from a youth. When Saul saw the act of David, he said, leave your father's house and come and dwell in my house, the king's palace. From the shepherd field to the king's palace. Just because a man who believed in God nurtured himself with his playing of his instrument and praising God while he is looking after the sheep. David had a time 
to look after the sheep, watch over the sheep, but communicating with God. He wrote his songs because it was a quiet place that he could think. He said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. When David goes out, he could relax while thinking on God. And he put his pen to his paper. He wrote some music, gave to the Levites, they were the singers in those days, to the musicians. They sing those songs. But when David sum up life, when saw, he also was a chosen man. A chosen man of God. And when God chose us to do his work, if we don't falter, then the spirit of God will not leave us. And when David went into the king's palace and he played for the king, an evil spirit went into Saul and he threw his javelin at David. And David started running for his life. That is why David said, he made me to lie down in great pastures because he ran out of the king's palace and his, his bed was no more satin sheet. His pillow was stone and dirt and his bed, the bed that spread was grass. And he had to lay down in the grass. Big bush, hallelujah, to cover him from his enemy. So I began to pursue David for his life. And when David ran with God Almighty, the man said, The shadow of death. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Let us go into the valley of the shadow of death. The Lord needed David. And while David was running, God showed him a cave. And said, David, go into that cave. David went into the cave to hide from Saul. The same cave. That David went in, in the back of the cave, Saul came in. The man said, yet though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, he was in the back of the cave, and death came in front of him. Death was in the front of him. Saul and his men lay out the valley of the shadow of death. I know good God, God put up a defense that the soul could not find David because God become a buckler and a shield to shield David from Saul and Saul could not find him but David could see him hallelujah David walking in the light but Saul was walking in darkness because the evil spirit could not see righteousness anymore Good God Almighty, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, death go past the man, death stand in front of the cave. David was behind death, and when the Lord said it was time, the Lord said to David, get out of this cave. Death, the valley, they lie there. The king lay there sleeping. All his powerful men lay there sleeping. Good God Almighty. 